Now let's talk a little bit about the cute frilly things that sometimes you can put in a space like a chandelier, a DIY chandelier perhaps. We have got Christian Dare in the house. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, one of our DIY experts, and you take very, you know, I love your projects because yep. they, they end up looking very high end. Yep. You know, and a lot of people want that. We've got a lot of viewers who are DIYers, but they want projects that are going to look like they bought them at the store. Yep. Okay. So this DIY actually came because I was looking for something for our house in New Orleans. I yes. want something kind of chic, a little bit 70s, a little bit boho. Yeah. And I actually saw this great tassel chandelier on one of those sort of she-she stores in the West End, mm -hmm. and it was $700. Oh, dear. I was like, I bet I can make it for 50 bucks. Is this the one you made for 50 yes. bucks? Yes. Yeah, so you can make that exact chandelier for 50 bucks, and okay. we're going to make it today. Okay. What did we so do? So you don't what need that many do? supplies, so you need... Wool. You can do it in any color you want, any thickness. I'll just kind of change the texture of how you do a chandelier. Okay. An empty four by six frame. All so right. just take out the little photo from inside of it. Uh -huh. You're gonna need some scissors, some yes. fishing line, just in case, a tape measure, and some chain to hang it. Got it. So the first project, which can take a little while, mm -hmm. is making tassels. You have to make all the tassels. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because that's what DIY means. That's what DIY right? means. Yes. Do it yourself. People are like, where did you buy the tassels? I'm like, I made them. I that's made what them DIY is. It's so DIY. this is my trick. I don't have kids, but I tricked my partner into making them with me. Oh, that's such so a smart idea. I told him it's the newest fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you your new fidget spinner. Thank you. Basically, all you have to do is take your wool, yeah. take your frame, okay. and we're going to wrap it around 50 times. 50 so times. So you're going to be wrapping like this. Oh, all the way, all of the way course. Around. All right, okay. Are you ready? Oh, is this like, oh, it's a contest! <laughs> I already started, oh, I'm a cheater! Go! 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. It's harder when it's a race. <laughs> oh, and there it goes. Fifty! Oh! I think you did it. <laughs> a little hair fix. You know what? It's better when it's a race. <laughs> um, was See, it supposed to be this fun. wide it like this? It can be that wide. No, you okay, can tell it's almost fail proof. So take okay, some good. scissors. You're just going to cut it right here at the end. Okay. Super easy. Yeah. Now you're just going to cut a piece. Oh, you've thrown away your... Here, grab that guy. Thank you. Okay, just take one piece. Oh, mine's gone too now. You slide it in. Yeah. So underneath. Just one side? Just one side. Okay. And we're going to tie it off. And when you tie it off, you can tie it off tight, and that'll pull in your sort of wider gap. Right. And just do a double knot. Like that? Double knot. Okay. Super easy. I like this game. This is better than fidget spinners. <laughs> well, you actually make something at the end. Yes. Which is kind of nice, right? Okay. Can you just put your finger right there? Thank you. You want it really tight. Yeah, I want it really tight. Kay. Okay. There you go. Okay. So then you flip over the frame. Yep. And you want to cut at the bottom right here. Here? Yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you cut because we just adjust. <laughs> Got it. So, do, do, do. Grab it from the knot you tied it from. You can adjust sort of the width. Right. So there's the beginning of it. Since That's we threw a good little way to make a tassel. Everywhere. How did Here's you figure out that you. this was the way to do it? Um, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good so resource. So grab this guy. Yep. Lay it down on the table. I find it easier. Mm -hmm. And then you just want to decide where you want sort of the pom pom part of your t your tassel. And this sort of you keep them about adjust. the same. Keep them about the same. You want to keep them about the same length, so it's right. super easy. Okay. Tie knot also. Tight knot. Yeah. Do you need my finger again? I think so. <laughs> yeah, put your finger right there, and I'll end the knot on this side. So super easy. Good. And, and then, then the other thing I've decided, because it's yep. so shabby chic, you actually can just let, like, as you brush it out, the knot just kind of blends guys. in, right? I did it myself. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it now, you can do it later. You can always give them a little haircut. Yep. Just trim them down a little bit. So there's your tassel. Perfect. Now you have to make 98 more. Yeah. <laughs> but we won't do that today. <laughs> it's a good uh, DIY on a rainy easy. day. Yeah. So what you want to have is you want to have embroidery hoops. I'm sure we've all seen these guys. Mm -hmm. So they come in two sections. There's a little screw on top. I took this guy out just to be easier. Yep. Take out this guy, save it for my next DIY in September maybe. Sure. <laughs>
And the easiest thing I found for these guys is you just find your little spot again. Okay. Where you went through. Oh, and you just. And you just thread it through. Yeah, thread it through. And you just keep threading them through. So it's super easy. Excellent. Just to get over that guy, you thread them through. This so guy's you're gonna, gonna have. For me. Yeah, that's okay. You're gonna have three different, three different sizes posts. so that you've got that tier situation yeah, exactly. happening. So I did a 14 inch, a 10 inch, and a 7 inch. Yeah. But basically, you could do almost any size. Like it could be really cool to even do like a 24 inch oversized yes. one, depending on your scale, right? So then what you do is once you've got them all done, you kind of just line chain. them up like this guy. Mm -hmm. We actually. Sometimes the race isn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest thing I found is you want to cut three sections per hoop that are eight inches long. Right. And then you're actually just going to take sort of three sections of it and tie them off. This okay. a little bit long. And that's how you you're going to tie, attach them? Yeah, hoop to hoop. And when you do it in the same fabric that you've used, the same wool, it blends in. You don't even see it, right? That's right, because all the tassels are covering it. So you it. do all the tassels. So that's how you start connecting all your hoops. Right. Those guys, once they're all connected, you get some chain. So right. I did a chain in three pieces, and I connected them in the middle. So this is basically how you're gonna hang it. So then you put it on your largest oh. hoop, connect it to each side. Yeah. I attach with fishing line, because then it also just disappears into it. Right. You cut one longer piece that you then attach in the middle. You can basically just use your sort of, uh, sorry, wire cutters, mm -hmm. open up the loop, because they all open up, and then reattach it right into here. So you just get a tight fit. Okay, that makes sense. That super, totally super makes sense. easy. So then the last step is to light it. Right. So these guys you can get almost anywhere. Lots of sort of DIY stores, home stores, anywhere. A light kit, I picked a white one just so it would blend in. You could do, you can find that on hot pink, fluorescent yeah. yellow, super fun for your kids. Mm -hmm. Just light it with it. And I always suggest doing a low voltage bulb. Oh, right. Just in case. Just it also case. saves energy. I mean, it is fireproof. Yes. But I wouldn't put, just like any sort of lamp, you don't want to go over sort of the wattage recommended. So I just did a low voltage watt. Yes. So Can you safe. show us the final? Yes. It's been so baking So when it's in the all oven. done, you saw the one hanging. We're going to show you so uh, super the, easy. the project right here. Isn't that nice? You can give it a little brush out. Yes. Make sure her hair looks good. Oh, she's so pretty. But you can see, like, I even, the knots you just can tuck in. Yes, absolutely. So it's super easy. It's shabby Tucks chic. In. It's gorgeous. Shabby chic. And then even at the end, you can still do a little trim if there's little long ones that are bothering you. Yes. Give her a little haircut. I dare you, if you make this, to stop touching it. I can't. It just feels so good. It's the yeah. texture of it, right? You can do it in almost any color you want. You could even yes. sort of dip dye the ends if you want. It's very nice. It's great fun.